This bright-eyed photo of five-year-old Riley Bradley was taken at Kennedy Krieger. It's where she's relearning to walk and use her arms after being diagnosed with acute flaccid myelitis at a different hospital when she was three years old. The disease is rare, but it's a serious neurological condition that can lead to permanent paralysis over just a few hours. It affects mostly children. Riley's symptoms started as a fever and cold. Within like 12 hours, she was walking unsteady, and then she started walking on her tiptoes. Um, and then within four days of her starting to run fever, she woke up and she couldn't sit up, she couldn't walk. The rapid progression and rarity of AFM is why the CDC is alerting health care providers to a possible peak outbreak this fall. We have seen over the past you know, six years since AFM was first identified that cases always peak between August and October. So we are headed right into that season. Um, and the cases have, within those months, have peaked every other year on even numbered years. Dr. Michelle Malacosta of Kennedy Krieger says her institute has treated the majority of children in the U.S. with AFM. There's concern that with the coronavirus pandemic upon us, providers could overlook this illness if a child becomes sick. Some children will initially present to their caregiver for the cold or the fever um, because they need to get tested for COVID, especially as we are thinking about schools reopening and, and those sorts of things. Um, and in fact, a week later present with um, symptoms that are consistent with acute plasma myelitis. AFM typically starts as a fever and cold in small children and leads to weakness in a limb. If your child has this, officials say see a doctor right away. Knowing what we know now, I would have pushed harder. I would not, I would not have taken their, oh, it's just a virus that needs to run its course. Theo Hayes, WBAL-TV 11 News.